Hey guys, Glenn here. I spent $20,000 on 3D printers and made a 3D printing business, which I'm sure most of you guys know about if you follow my channel. But today is the day that I'm going to show you my entire workspace down here and explain why I set up the 3D printers the way I did uh, so that if you're setting up your shop or even if you already have a shop, you might be able to take some of these tips that I've learned along the way just by trial and error uh, that help me become more and more efficient. So my total costs are kind of difficult to say. I'm not going to add it all up totally, but um, in general, I spent about $20,000 if you assume that each 3D printer is about $1,200 shipped because they're Prusa MK3S Plus. And there's a lot of other things that you have to buy to put in here that probably puts me closer to like $25,000, but $20,000 on 3D printers. Now, if you're starting your own 3D printing business, or if you're just doing it for fun. You don't have to start with $20,000 with 3D printers. In fact, I started with one 3D printer and then I just kept on buying them as they were paying themselves off through Etsy alone. So don't get discouraged, you can do it. And I'm gonna show you exactly how throughout my channel. Now, today I'm just gonna show you my workspace. I'm sure a lot of people wanna see it. I've been getting the question over and over again. So let's dive into it. So this is a tour of my 3D print shop. Before I start printing for the day, I'm gonna show you guys why I have it set up like this and give you some tips and tricks so you can make your print shop um, very efficient. So um, I have a total of 16 printers at the moment. They're all Prusa MK3+. Plus. I have a total of five racks. Um, I did a video on the racks, uh, so if you want to see more in detail of which racks I actually use, I do have a video just specifically on that and it is on this channel. Now each rack has, um, you know, three to four printers on it. It depends on where power is and when you set your farm up, you're going to have to think about the power. That's the biggest thing. Um, and then, you know, how it's designed and, and, and all that stuff. So. Okay, so I designed this to be a system that is expandable. So if you just buy one of these and then put one printer on and then two printers and then three printers and four printers, you can keep on doing that up until four printers or you can have like two minis on the bottom and four um, up top, four M uh, MK3s up top. Um, so I just use MK3s because uh, it's not worth changing the G-code a million times. So I just use all the same printers. Uh, that's my decision making on that. Now I'll show you over here. It's a little easier to explain because you can see everything in one shot. So I have a total of 16 printers, um, sets of six and then one set of four. Uh, which I'm just trying to make it fit the room. So you're gonna obviously have to make it fit your room So you'll see all my setups um, and this one is self-explanatory. It's nice and flat So I have three printers and then I have three printers. They're all running off a 15 amp breaker Which that UPS that un uninterrupted power supply right back here is set up to um, for the for all six printers and that goes for this one it goes for this set of printers and then the four printers over there. They all have UPSs. That's going to keep my prints going. If the lights flicker, um, I've, I've went, had the power go out multiple times here. And I'm sure I already saved money from this thing. Uh, it was like 150 bucks, something like that. But it's it's worth it because if you're, if you're going to do this full time as a business, because you're going to lose power and it sucks restarting everything all over again, uh, especially when you got 16 printers. I have all the filament on top, at least most colors, uh, which works out like just about perfectly. Um, so each each line is is a different color, and then over there on the on the blacks and the whites, it's 
black and white and I have two lines of each color because I use black and white a lot. So I, so I need to store like 20 of them sometimes uh, if I find a good deal on uh, printer filament. Now, the ones under here to keep them dry, is, that's PETG, that's PETG. So I have black PETG, I have gray PETG, um, and then I have all different colors of PETG in there. And then PLAs that I really don't touch too much that are like specialty or something like that. Um, so anything you don't use every couple weeks, you gotta put in these bins because it, they're just gonna, it's gonna be worthless later on. I also have like extra PETG back here. Um, so um, I try to fit it wherever I can, but it makes sense um, as a unit. Now, if you just break it down to like a three to four printer unit, um, these work so well because I figured out you know, I use this little scraper. I put this scraper here. I might hang it later on. You know, all these things are subject to change because every time I find something that makes this process a little faster, I change it and make it faster. So um, right now I put it here. I put the extra sheets here so I could switch out the sheets. I put these little clips, which I use these clips to put on here. I'm sure you see in my other videos about how I switch over my filament without getting tangles. Uh, but these dragon clips is what I use for the tangles. Um, I clip this, which I get from Prusa, which I mean, if you're, you have a different 3D printer, it's fine, but you should have some needle nose pliers. Um, but each one, I have one here, I have one over there. Each unit is all the same. So I can go, oh, here's my 3D uh, pliers. Here's my needle nose pliers, and I can cut it, put the clip on, or whatever I need to do with these 3D, the, with these um, pliers. Now, moving on, what I do is when I need to switch over, I, I use um, two different plates. I use the smooth original build plate for the winter time, especially. Uh, but during the summertime, I'm pretty much only using these. Uh, during the winter here, I'm in Connecticut, so it is. You know, it gets cold and just having a little draft makes these kind of not work anymore for certain things like um, I still use it for it's just a pain in the butt because it doesn't adhere as well as these on prints that are like the whole thing so like let's say if we have something really really long and then really really tall it might lift up um, it's not gonna lift up off of this if you do it correctly but it might lift off of this uh, but just really when it's cold because there's a, there's a draft at all times even though I keep it like 70 in here. I have a fire alarm right above here that is right where like the smoke would go right off, right up the, um, the stairs. So make sure you have a fire alarm because 3D printers can create fire. So God forbid, you'd, you'd, you'd like to wake up to it, you know? So be, safety is number one, obviously. Now, speaking of fire, um, I do have these right here next to the printers. I take them down at night, um, but this is what I use uh, for my 99% IPA, and I got these things. Um, I could put a link in description. Um, I got these things so that I take off the regular tops and then I just put the squirt bottle on so I go, boom, squirt it, and then put it back because I'm doing that uh, multiple times a day. So each unit has that. This one doesn't have it in there right now, uh, but each unit has one um, that's right next to the printer so it's ready to go. Now don't forget about the trash can. Each unit will have a trash can or a trash can per two units. And then under here, I have paper towels. So um, I got this thing for like six bucks. I screw it under here and I put the paper towels on there and boom. So I have the paper towels, I squirt it like this. I take the paper towel, there's one of them, and I clean the bed and I'll, I'll probably clean, you know, all six beds or something with the same paper towel. Now, if you guys have any questions about my 3D print farm, let me know because I'd love to answer them. Now let's move on to this one over here. So again, I got filament up top, which I have black and white, and I use up so much black and so much white that I, I actually have two spots for each. And it's pretty much the only color that, that I have that for, um, that much room for. Now I have two printers, 
Then I have two printers, garbage can, pliers, spray. Now I did chain, I did put this, these paper towels over here because I didn't want paper towels above the 3D printer. So that is one precaution I did take on that. Um, and then like failed 3D prints down here. Uh, I got the UPS and all these units work just like that. It's that easy. Um, organization and having things close is very important. So my girlfriend was like, why are you buying another trash can? Like <laughs> that stuff excites me getting a trash can, which is silly, but um, you know, you need a trash can next to your workspace at all times. I don't want to not be able to throw something out there and then have to like go all the way over here to this trash can or all the way over there to that trash can. Every second, every millisecond counts. Okay, so now let's go over this section. Uh, this is the last six 3D printers. I had to go around this column here, which you can see back here. I put a fire extinguisher on there, which I recommend your fire extinguishers to be a little further away, but I have multiple fire extinguishers. So on this one, you know, again, I have everything the same. It, it, some, some of it has to change a little bit, but, um, you know, I, I got filament on the bottom because it fit there, and then I got all the filament on top, all different colors, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Then I have my Solvo filament dryer, I love that thing, um, and the UPS. My garbage can. Do you see a pattern here? Now these are just uh, my bubble mailers, two different sizes of bubble mailers, because you know I'm working with little limited space, so I have to put stuff wherever I can. Those are the trash can bags I use, and that is uh, that's the tape that I use uh, for shipping out. Now of course you got the treadmill here, which obviously I use all the time. Um, so uh, surprised to you, surprised that I can use this treadmill while all six of these printers are running, which is pretty cool. Uh, that means that I have extra power. Um, you know, if if I want to print on all these printers, I can start three of them up right away. A fourth one will make that thing start beeping and not work. And then after that, I could start up two at the same time to get to five, and then the last one I just wait until they're all heated up, and then I start another one, and then I have no problem. It, that thing will start beeping if you're having any kind of power issue, which you just can't start all six printers at the same time because you'll blow the breaker. And that thing is a safety that, that'll blow first before the breaker, so it's super safe. So in order to give you guys a sense of the space, I'm gonna show you, um, you know, my computer, this um, is a really cool setup that the computer is right next to my shipping center, which I have a video about shipping everything out, um, how I do it and everything. I should probably update it for certain things because every time I save a second, I figure out a new way to ship faster. Now, um, this is really neat. Um, I got my cameras here. Um, it's, I got this from Uplift Desk. Uh, they are okay, but um, I, I wouldn't get the the tops here because they're the tops suck. But the standing desk is really solid and works very well. It's just very expensive. So, for instance, I can press that and it goes down. You know, um, so while I'm sitting, I can work, um, or I could put it even lower and I can eat. Um, you can adjust it to whatever size you want. I could just, you know, I could press this, go up a little bit, and it'll stop. I could press like number two, and this is my standing height. And it comes, goes all the way up to where it's gotta go. This is where you guys see me filming. Um, now, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. Um, I'm not sure how up to date this is actually. Um, and then when I ship things out, I put them in here. So this bag you always see in the background um, on my shipping cart. And of course, a garbage can right next to where I'm working so I could throw everything out. Obviously I drink lots of water nowadays. Um, if you walk over here, I got my, um, my photo booth, uh, which, you know, this is set up so I could just plug this in and, 
and boom. Um, this photo booth is awesome. Uh, look for my photo booth video if you want to get this thing. Um, it, it works great. And then I got the rest of this table for, um, I have this so that I could just plug a 3D printer in here and repair it without bringing it back and forth to a power source. Um, I actually have my 3D printing cord right there and uh, that'll plug right, it's the same thing as a computer cord. So it's an extra for me and all I do is plug that into here and I plug it into the printer and test it out after it's fixed. And so I don't have to move printers back and forth um, as well as, you know, I can film YouTube videos on here. I can uh, put things here f so that like uh, when I'm, when I got a filament shipment and I don't have the time to like put it up right away where it's got to go, just put it right here. Um, it's great space. Under here, I got the maid, um, I got the bank, and I have extra shipping material that, you know, I my other company uses this for protecting floors. And, you know, we, we kind of never run it. We have so much of this stuff that I just figured uh, one day I'm like, oh man, I really need some packaging material and that's what I've been using. So it's it's a little... It's a little strong, so I don't recommend using it all the time, but I'm never gonna use all this stuff up. We, we bought too much, so. Now, if we go here, we got the gym. I'm sure you guys wanna see that. Now in here, we have my alcohol, 99% uh, IPA. I have my silica beads in here. I recommend you just buy eight pounds of it, just get it get over with it and just buy it because you'll keep on buying it if you don't buy it in big bulk um, and then I got you know bubble mailers different boxes stuff like that um, on these like cheap really crappy racks because I wouldn't print ever on these things but storing something um, that's lightweight is is fine um, and I got plenty of bubble wrap all over the place in my paint cans but that's for my other business so that's pretty much it guys um, if you guys have any questions please let me know I'm gonna put affiliate links uh, uh, down below on anything I can think of that I use. So if you want to use the stuff that I use, you can buy it below. If you guys like making money with your 3D printer, subscribe to my channel. I make videos like this all the time. And if you got any value out of this video, please give it a like. And I really appreciate it because uh, it really helps out my channel. Watch this video next. Have a great day.